Hello everybody, it is Sinky here and welcome to a video of top 5 things what I think Unity got right. I'm aware some of you thinking, Unity got something right? This is weird, what is he talking about? Yeah, I know Unity wasn't a particularly great game, It was, yeah, but it did a lot of things right, this is the thing. It did a lot of things right, but the things that I got wrong just outweighed the things a lot that it got right. Just as a heads up, if you're wondering why there's no HUD, I found out that if you press down R3 or the right stick, if you hold it down for maybe 3-4 seconds, it actually turns all the HUD off, which is really awesome. It makes it more kind of cooler to play and it makes makes it more interesting to watch okay so number five is amazing graphics i know graphics isn't everything in the game and i think that's that, that is the truth at least to me graphics aren't the most important thing in the game but to be honest you have to admit unity was an absolutely gorgeous looking game uh when i remember when i first loaded up the game and i just looked and i thought nah nah, nah this, is, this is this is something isn't right here I, I, I felt like i was playing like a pc game but on a ps4 it was amazing to look at that just the attention to detail the, the lighting, the reflections, just the textures are amazing to look at and especially when you got into Paris and when you synchronized and you saw the whole of Paris it was absolutely breathtaking. Number four is amazing city and crowds. You're probably thinking okay uh, is, isn't city the same thing as graphics? Well kind of but not really. Uh, what it is is more is the attention to detail, the design of the buildings and just the way things are laid out. I love the fact that there's different districts and you can tell that you're in a poor district or a rich district or different things like that. It's just really it, the attention to detail is absolutely incredible and the designers whoever designed Paris deserve a lot of credit because the, the city is absolutely gorgeous and the crowd animations are really great as well because they they interact with the world and they they scream and shout when they're watching someone being executed like I was just playing the the mission where you have to find your man in in the crowd where they're executing Louis or King Louis and the crowd was so huge it was amazing to watch and granted they kind of pop in a little bit uh, it's, that's just the PS4 like they, they, they obviously couldn't get it uh, to run with like maybe 10,000 or 5,000 people and not have popping so maybe dumb it down to maybe 4,000 or maybe three and a half thousand and then don't have any popping I think that's I think to have less popping is more important than have a massive crowd and having everyone pop in right in front of you number three is improved stealth and I know what you're thinking the stealth in this game was terrible and in my eyes, it was more inconsistent. Uh, you could like be fighting guards, and there'd be a guard like literally ten meters down the hallway, and he would try to look at you and just turn around. He wouldn't notice you, but magically, if one guard spots you, there's a guard literally the other side of the building. He knows that you're there, and it's a bit annoying. But the introduction of a cover system that worked better in Dead Kings, my opinion, the cover to cover, it was more focused on cover to cover gameplay rather than. Um, I don't know how to explain it in Unity. I just don't know what how it was, but um, just even when you're able to kill targets from cover uh, was a lot more better and the introduction of a crouch button made it a lot better ins instead of pressing like R2 and uh, X trying to crouch down behind like a little ledge or something it, it was just improved quite a bit but it needs quite a bit of tweaking. Number two is amazing parkour and combat. A lot of people didn't like the combat in Unity but I think that's because it was too difficult but having difficult combat made you want to use stealth and to find a better way of getting around your target instead of killing a load of guards in like a minute it, it just made it more interesting and it made you think for a second how am I going to do this how am I going to get around and it, it just made it a lot more interesting and regarding the parkour that is amazing I love the parkour in Unity being able to go up and down like going up and then climb down straight back down it's amazing um, I like the fact that you can kind of if, if you climb up and there's like a ledge or something, if you push your right, your left stick to the right, he will jump onto it. Because I was playing Assassin's Creed 3 the other day, and I was trying to do that. I was like, oh, I forgot you can't do this in the game. And I realised that if I wanted to get over there, I'd have to shimmy over there and press um, circle to get down. And it, it got really annoying trying to get down there. And having been able to wall run, instead of having to run at a wall at a straight, just straight at it is way more easier, having the kind of angled wall run is really awesome. Number one is the amazing side quests. The tagline for this game I think was make history and that's what I feel like I'm doing when I'm playing these side quests. The side quests were way more interesting than the main story because the story was the main story is boring but the side quest you actually feel like you're making history you feel like you're contributing and you feel, you're actually learning stuff you're like the side quests in this game are really interesting and I hope to continue this in victory because um, it's kind of cool interacting with real people like like Terry Gore and just different people like that. So tell me what you think down below whether you agree with this list uh, This was top five So if you have anything that you think should have been maybe in the top five put it down below So uh, if you give a like that would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye